This is the Comac C919, the aircraft that represents a significant milestone in China's aviation history as the nation's first domestically produced narrow-body commercial airliner designed to compete directly with Boeing and Airbus in the single-aisle jet market. Designed by the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, or COMAC, and first rolled out in 2015, the C919 boasts an impressive range of up to 2,235 nautical miles, or 4,140 kilometers, and a cruise speed of Mach 0.785. The plane was designed to meet the growing needs of China's expanding air travel market while breaking the monopoly held by Western aerospace giants in this segment. The history of the C919 began in 2008, when the Chinese government founded COMAC specifically to develop this aircraft. The company envisioned an airliner that could compete with the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 families, which have long dominated the single-aisle market. Despite facing delays and regulatory challenges, COMAC rolled out the first prototype in November 2015, marking a significant milestone for China's aerospace industry. The aircraft made its maiden flight in 2017 and embarked on an extensive flight testing program before achieving type certification from the Civil Aviation Administration of China in 2022. Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the COMAC C919. Stepping inside, the cabin measures 12.3 feet or 3.75 meters wide, providing ample shoulder room for passengers seated in a 3-3 arrangement. The height measures 7.9 feet or 2.4 meters, giving passengers plenty of headroom while moving through the cabin. The overall cabin length allows for a capacity of up to 190 passengers in a single-class layout or around 158 in a two-class configuration, depending on the airline's preference. The seats in economy class are approximately 18 inches or 45 centimeters wide, with a pitch ranging from 29 to 31 inches or 73 to 78 centimeters. In business class, the seats are typically 21 inches or 53 centimeters wide, with a pitch of up to 39 inches or 98 centimeters. Overhead bins are spacious, featuring a streamlined design that blends seamlessly with the cabin walls, and they're engineered to hold standard carry-on luggage. In-flight entertainment and connectivity options vary depending on airline requirements, but most feature a streaming system that allows passengers to access movies, music, and games through their personal devices via onboard Wi-Fi. Some airlines opt for high-definition touchscreens at each seat, providing on-demand entertainment options for passengers, and USB charging ports and AC power outlets are strategically placed throughout the cabin. The cabin lighting system is designed to minimize energy consumption through the use of LED technology and includes mood lighting that changes color and intensity based on the flight phase, helping passengers adjust to changing time zones and reducing jet lag. This sophisticated lighting also creates a pleasant ambience and sense of space, enhancing the perception of the cabin's roominess. Noise and vibration levels are minimized through advanced soundproofing measures and careful engine placement. The engines located under the wings incorporate acoustic nacelles that reduce noise emissions, ensuring a quiet and restful environment for passengers even during high-speed cruising. Pressurization and air circulation systems are designed to maintain optimal passenger comfort. The cabin is pressurized to an equivalent altitude of around 6,000 feet or 1,830 meters, reducing fatigue on long flights. HEPA filters ensure that cabin air is regularly refreshed, maintaining a consistent flow while removing contaminants. And finally, the lavatories are strategically positioned at the front and rear of the cabin, ensuring convenient access. The lavatories feature durable materials, compact yet efficient layouts, and modern amenities to meet the needs of all passengers. Some configurations also include accessible lavatories to accommodate those with reduced mobility. Now, let's step into the cockpit. At the heart of the flight deck is the Honeywell Primus Epic II Avionics Suite, which is known for its integration capabilities and ease of use. The cockpit layout consists of five large format LCD screens, including two primary flight displays, two navigation displays, and one multifunction display in the center. These high resolution screens offer pilots comprehensive situational awareness, presenting real-time data on speed, altitude, attitude, and flight path in a clear, intuitive format. 
This electronic flight instrument system layout allows pilots to customize data displays, ensuring they can access critical information quickly. The avionics suite integrates seamlessly with the dual flight management system, which automates much of the flight planning and navigation process. The FMS calculates optimal routes and adjusts for fuel efficiency while considering air traffic control requirements. It interfaces with the autopilot and autothrottle systems, maintaining lateral and vertical navigation throughout all flight phases. The autothrottle system automatically adjusts engine thrust to meet specific speed targets, reducing pilot workload and increasing fuel efficiency. The Enhanced Ground Proximity Warning System, or EGUS, provides terrain mapping and alerts, reducing the risk of controlled flight into terrain. The Traffic Alert and Collision Avoidance System, or TCAS, actively scans for nearby aircraft, advising pilots on evasive maneuvers when necessary. Predictive wind shear detection adds an additional layer of safety by warning pilots of potential turbulence ahead, allowing them to adjust flight paths accordingly. The avionics suite includes a sophisticated weather radar system providing high-resolution imagery of storms, turbulence, and wind patterns. This radar system enables pilots to make real-time adjustments to flight paths, avoiding adverse weather conditions and ensuring a smoother flight. The ergonomics reflect the latest trends in human-machine interface design, ensuring that controls are logically placed and within easy reach of the pilots. The overhead panel is arranged to manage electrical, hydraulic, and fuel systems efficiently. Meanwhile, the central pedestal houses the throttle quadrant, flight control switches, and the multifunction control display unit, or MCDU, which allows pilots to input flight data and manage performance calculations. And finally, the side stick controls offer precise handling and reduce pilot fatigue, allowing for better maneuverability while providing tactile feedback. And the fly-by-wire system incorporates multiple redundancy layers ensuring reliable aircraft control even if the primary system fails. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Comac C919 is powered by two high-bypass turbofan CFM International Leap 1C engines, each providing a thrust output of up to 28,500 pounds force. The aircraft requires 6,730 feet or 2,050 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day with a maximum takeoff weight of 165,600 pounds or 75,100 kilograms and a maximum payload capacity of 41,700 pounds or 18,900 kilograms. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 3,000 feet per minute or 915 meters and a maximum service ceiling of 39,800 feet or 12,130 meters. The plane has a maximum cruise speed of Mach 0.785 or 453 knots, a maximum range of 2,235 nautical miles, which is 2,572 miles or 4,140 kilometers, and a minimum landing distance of approximately 6,600 feet or 2,010 meters. And finally, the base purchase price for a new Comac C919 is $99 million before options. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.